Hello, tamers, and welcome back to Digimobs into the digital world. So, we are working towards the other dimensions. And from what I can tell, what we need is this. An eye. Now, I can't tell if there's something special we need to get. We need to get it, but it seems that it is made from, it seems that it's made from these ender pearls and clerics drop these. They're well, they can sell them. Looks like we don't have any in the mob drops box. So we are going to work towards that. So we're going to make another trader. Redstone and iron. Two, three. Because I'm not sure if I have any more traders over there. So it's always good to have an extra one as a just in case. And that's going to be the project is getting enough pearls and everything to where we can do this. So we can head towards the other dimension, the end that we heard about. It's a beautiful day. The vendors are vending, the travelers are traveling. Oh, we did have another spot, but both of those are for two other job classes, so we'll just put this trader here. All right. Whoa! They. Those are Digimon stuff! Those are small. Uh, those are small. Oh, I've been needing so much more. I'll take that in droves. All right, now it's to make lapis or sell gold. Well, I don't have a real good way to get gold right now. So I guess I'm buying some lapis to try to boost this trade a little along large floppies now oh that's incredible I don't even have a large energy floppy yet that's incredible I'm gonna have to do some more trading towards all this all right let's go ahead and grab this we'll Pour some iron in here. Oh, right. Uh, can't do anything more there. Uh, they buy paper. Paper. I'm wondering. The trader seems to be part of the... Is part of this easy villager. Is there something... Farmer. Hmm. I wonder if we could have a farmer do sugarcane. Hmm. Might have to see. Auto automating sugarcane production would be good. So we need a bucket of water, some dirt, iron, and glass panes. Well, we've always got buckets and water on us. Due to the fact we live in front of a small river. We have iron and everything back here. We just need to get the dirt. Which we should have in one of these chests. Is it my miscellaneous chest? Dirt. Ah, one piece of dirt. Oh, and we already have the two iron. Perfect. We just need this. Which, I will go ahead and drop the poppies in here. 
So now we'll go ahead and make a farmer up. Oh, and we get our bucket back. Perfect. All right, so now we have a farmer. And while I do know... Well... Hmm. Well, we can always make more villagers. Oh, we need a piece of sugar cane. Oh, please tell me I still have sugar cane. Bingo. All right. Now, of course, this guy is not a dedicated farmer, so I don't know how well this will go. Uh, does sugarcane not work? Oh, darn it. Hmm. All right. Well, now he's stated to be a farmer, but I... Uh, that's what I figured. If we take him away from his job post, he'll switch positions. Hmm. I mean, we could have him farm up food to do for this. So, let's see. One of the big farms we do... Wheat would be... Wheat would be good, but I feel like wheat actually isn't the best source of food. So what I'm thinking is we do potatoes. It's the same source of food that I use. And honestly, having a lot of... Oh, I think all my potatoes are over here. Yep, there we are. If we have a lot of potatoes, we can do a lot with them. I just realized I should probably start making up a few more traders and just throw everyone into trader spots. All right, looks like at maximum, right now I can make about eight more with one more in glass if I needed to. All right. I'm also going to go ahead and move this pack over into the trader spot. As this should, uh, we'll put it right here. Yeah, that'll work. We do need to get more to make this go up faster. Uh, all right. Oh, where did we put that? Oh, did we put the villager back in here? Where, where'd he go? I had three. Oh, wait. One became a cleric, right. My exact reasoning was we can always make more, right, right. Um, actually, I'm going to put it over here. Okay, so I can make him a farmer. I can go grab these guys up here. farmer okay so I'm gonna as I grab them I'm going move the trader I'll still keep the house as a dedication to the fact that I'll actually even change the layout a bit. 
Um, this is mainly a dedication to the fact that they all worked so hard. Uh, come on, Florimon, get up out of that spot. Out of the... That building will now be more of a monument to the villager start. I am probably going to keep moving this backpack. And we have the two farmers. They still have their good trades. And we have our three Fletchers. Oh, uh, this guy. Need to move him over one. And there we go. They all have their trades still. And we have whew, just barely enough room. We're still going to need more room for other enchantments, so I may make a second floor to this. I'm going to make it right here where the cleric is and just not have anything on those two spots. I don't know. I'll figure that out shortly. But we do need to work on... Oh, uh, I'll leave the traders in here. I do want to check, though. How well is this going? He is producing potatoes. Which we can sell, so that's... And also use for various other methods. So that's not bad. We'll probably do a basic run through of the farms to try to get a bit more supplies. Because then, once we get a few more supplies, we can always, we'll be gearing up towards, I know, that's still... That also means I just took all the enchantment books over here. Hmm. I did not think that one through. Right, I was heading to the farms. I don't know why I hit it over here. Alright, so first things first is potatoes and carrots. And I have forgotten to grab all of... The, I know why I was coming over here. I forgot to grab all the crops... from in here pumpkins and beetroot do not need to be there emeralds can be here sugarcane can be here and of course that is all as we have everything we need now to work in the fields If I can get a f way to do a gold farm, 
we can certainly get up enough gold to start eating gold carrots. I do notice three poisoned potatoes in that batch. Which is not the not the best, but not the worst, I'll say. All right, so uh, this is the only thing that potentially ah right poison potatoes can't go into that, which is really weird. Uh, I'm just gonna throw them in this. I'm going to grab all the sugar cane and the paper. Then, next thing is the wheat and beetroot farm. And yes, I am noticing there are a few crops that aren't fully up and I don't know why I swore I hadn't touched the crops in a while so they should be All right, there's all the seeds from that. Now the next thing is, of course, that was beetroot. Next is, of course, pumpkins. And melons, which the best thing for this is an ax always. We'll go ahead and just throw the melon on this side real quick. All righty. So next is these melons and then We'll work on over to the sugar cane, which will be our paper supply. <sighs> uh, I'm not sure if an axe helps with this better or not. I don't really think it does. There probably is some automated ways of doing this as the fact that I've been able to automate my bamboo over there, but I'm really not sure how to, with the villagers, I can see a way to automate wheat, beetroot, potatoes, carrots, but I can't see sugarcane, even melons and pumpkins. I could possibly see but i think they would smash i think they would smash the melons into their me into melon slices or cut them up into melon slices and it would make it actually a lot harder because i'd have to all right 
Move the efficiency five book, move the looting two book. Put them back in their spot. Then we're gonna go here. Wheat. Carrots. Pumpkins. Melons. Potatoes. Beetroot. And that's all there. Then we are going to go find who buy who buys paper? You buy paper. All right, so that's all the paper cells we can do. Oh, we should have went with the efficiency five guy or the looting three guy. Dang it. I messed that up. Well, we can at least work on this a little bit further. Okay, looks like we can't get... Oh... Uh, Ah, looks like I just barely got it to the next level. Ah, there they are. Ender pearls. Five emerald each. Good lord. Ah, I need to learn how to use this. I feel like it has something to do with the knowledge of fixing villagers, which I know the knowledge. It's a weakness potion and a gold apple, but... I'm not really sure how that converts into this. Do I just drop a villager in there with the potion and an apple? And if so... I mean, if so, then I need to find the apple itself. Almost enough to get one more. Ugh. Such annoyance. I mean, I could... I could work on potentially upping the iron amount. But I'm not really sure. But we are working towards that goal. We have... Ender pearls are in sight, and considering when it was mentioned to me, it was mentioned as more of a, this is how many you need. Or, well, when it was uploaded into my head from getting the mega level Digimon of Grey Force, it was mentioned that we would need a pretty high level Digi. Or not a high level Digi, but we were going to need I think about 12 or more. But it's also said that we need to go into the nether to find the other piece of it. So I think we'll be going back into our old friend the nether real soon. And with an antique atlas that tells us where everything's at, we can certainly find our way around. That's not a problem. Though if I'm going in there, I may need to remake my armor. And possibly bring a few extra swords. Leave these guys at home. Bring a few extra pieces of food. And bring my so my shield as well as my gold boots. But we'll work on all that later. The world's already catastrophic enough with all this. Or the world's already not catastrophic, but... It's so vast and everything's so weird in this digital world. <laughs> oh yeah, the Cron Digizoid. I forgot about this stuff. We can always use it to 
We can always sell a bunch of it. I completely forgot about it. Huh. <sighs> But yeah, I think that's where we'll end it for today. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Stay digital, y'all.